Hello everyone, so we're going to start with fractions. So common fractions are just your normal kind of fractions, like 3 over 4, 1 and 2 thirds, 7 eighths, it's all the types of fractions. It just excludes things like decimal fractions, which is, has decimals in them like that. Okay, so that's not what we're looking at. We're just going to be looking at your normal fractions, which we call common fractions. So, some basics. If we have 1 over 4 plus 2 over 4, that just becomes 3 over 4. It doesn't become 3 over 8. Okay, so that's not correct. If we have 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3, then that is 2 over 3. 1 over 7 plus 3 over 7 gives you 4 over 7. If you get 1 over 4 plus 1 over 3, now please remember to make these two numbers the same. If you struggle with that in the test, all you do is you count in fours, so 4, 8, 12, 16, and then you count in threes, 3, 6, 9, 12. You then realize, ah, these two numbers are the same, and so I will use 12 as my lowest common denominator, sometimes referred to as the LCD. So we need to change both of those bottom numbers into a 12. So we're going to have to times this one by 3 and times this one by 4. But what you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. And so this one's going to turn into 3 over 12 and this one's going to turn into 4 over 12. Now that these two are the same, we can just add them and we get 7 over 12. So please remember, when plussing and minusing fractions, you need a common denominator. 3 over 8 plus 2 over 3. A common denominator between those two would be 24. Not sure about that? Count in 8s. You then count in 3s and we see that they both have the number 24. And so we will need to multiply this one by 3 and multiply this one by 3. You then multiply this one by 8 and you multiply this one by 8. And so at the top we'll end up with 9 over 24 plus 16 over 24. And when you add those two together you end up with 25 over 24. Now 24 fits into 25 once and then there's one 24th left over. Something else, we call these mixed numbers. Why? Because they are a mixture of a whole number and a fraction. So sometimes it's useful to convert a mixed into a improper fraction. So what you do is you take, well, let me give you a different example that doesn't have the same numbers. You take a 2, the 2, you multiply it with the 5, you then add 3. So that's 2 times 5, which is 10, plus 3, which is 13. And so you say 13 over 5. A fraction like this, where the number at the top is larger, is called an improper fraction. All right, let's do a quick little practice activity to make sure that you have grasped all the concepts that we have spoken about in this lesson. Feel free to pause the video and try them yourself. So for the first one, the denominators are already the same. And so we can go straight to the answer of 3 over 7. For number 2, the denominators are not the same. Now the lowest number that links those two together would be 12. So you would have to multiply this one by 4. And what you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. Then you'd multiply this by 3. And what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And so that's going to give us 4 over 12 plus 3 over 12. And so that gives us 7 over 12. For number 3, we minusing, but the denominators are not the same. Now, have a look here, guys. Many students think that you have to change both numbers. But surely 8 would work, because if I count in 8s, I get 8, 16. And if I count in 4s, I get 4 and then 8. So 8 is in both. So I get to leave this one as it is. I don't need to change it. I simply multiply this one by 2 and multiply this one by 2. And that gives you 7 over 8 minus 2 over 8, which is 6. Whoa, that is not 6, Kevin. That is 5 over 8. Number 4, we're going to convert it to an improper. So remember the order. It's this number multiplied by the number at the bottom plus the number at the top. So that's 17 out of 
5. Then we can take this one, which is number 5. We say 2 times 5, which is 10, plus 3, which is 13, over 5. All right, so if you got all of those correct, then good. You are on track so far. Let's keep practicing. Sometimes you need to convert a improper. Remember we said an improper is when the top number is bigger than the bottom number. And sometimes we need to convert that back to a mixed. So what we do is we see the number 5 and we see how many times can 5 fit into f to 18. Well, we can say 5, 10, 15. You can't go to 20 because that's too, mo that's too far. So it fits in 3 times. So we say 3. And then how much is left over? Well, 5, 10, 15. You still needed another 3 to get to 18. So we still have a 3 left over. And so we say 3 out of 5. Let's practice a bit more. 7 out of 4. Well, 4 can only fit into 7 once. Then there's 3 left over. So we say 3 out of 4. 3 can fit into 5 once. And then there's 2 left over. So we say 2 out of 3. 3 can fit into 8 twice. And then there's 2 left over. 5 fits into 7 once. And then there's 2 left over. Let's do a last little practice activity and then we are done with this lesson. 1 over 7 plus 1 over 4. So the denominators are not the same. And so if you count in 7s, you'd get 7, 14, 21, 28. If you count in 4s, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. So 28 is the number that you want. So to make 7 go to 28, your times it by 4. But what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. To make 4 go to 28, you times it by 7, and what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And so that's going to give you 4 over 28 plus 7 over 28, and that equals 11 over 28. Number 2, the common number between 5 and 4 is 20, so you times this one by 4, times this one by 4, times this one by 5, times this one by 5, and so that will give you 12 over 20 plus 5 over 20, which gives you 17 out of 20. Now we're going to convert these into mixed numbers. So 3 fits into 10 three times. Then there's 1 left over, so we say 1 over 3. 5 fits into 7 once, and then there's 2 left over. That's all for this lesson, guys. Thanks for watching.